team name is The Presence, which is the same as our app. And maybe we should first introduce ourselves first. So I'm Eva Chang, and I'm from Taiwan, Taichung in Taiwan. And I'm from Kuiwen Municipal High School. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Chris Huang, and I'm also from Taiwan. And I also study at Huiwen Municipal Senior High School. Thank you. Um, my name is Lee Bin Jun from Korea, Beijing Beijing Gopangpyo High School. And <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Usap Kim. I'm from Korea, and I'm in Beijing Beijing High School. Thank you. Basically, the back, um, we really appreciate the opportunity given by the organizers of this contest to join um, both IT, SDGs, and all participants here together. Okay, so since the adoption of the SDGs, um, uh, people have been raising awareness of the inequalities in the entire world. So that would be our main focus, such as digital divide and social inequality. And then um, another special feature of our background is because um, one of our team members um, have been to Cambodia as a volunteer, so he will he elaborate on his experience. So okay, hello everyone. My name is Chris once again. So having been to Cambodia as a volunteer with a non profitable organization, um, we all know that every country has different underdeveloped countries that um, at the same time all is fit, uh, all are fitting together like like the sustainable development goals of the United Nations like poverty um, water and sanitation hunger those kinds of problems that the world is facing today so here um, I'm gonna give um, some examples that we have faced in Cambodia as a volunteer um, Okay, so we went to an underdeveloped, um, underdeveloped rural, rural area, and we all know that going to remote areas, um, the infrastructure and the roads, to, in, in going to there, it, it is really difficult. Um, therefore, um, and therefore, when um, every, every community in that village, um, it doesn't have any information or statistical background that that um, <laughs> okay um yeah let me take some time <laughs> Okay, um, in every village, um, our mission and purpose on, on Cambodia was like interview every single house and like navigate their location and put it on a map, like put the information on, on the map. And then that was what we talked about on the, on the app we're making. This is a feature that is on the app we're gonna do. And, okay, and further explanation will, will be given by Eva. Thank you. Yes, I do. So, due to his um, travel or the volunteer experience uh, of him with our teacher in Cambodia, so we decided to um, help raise their community consciousness. <laughs> yeah, and so this is what our, the function of our app. So it's basically a, just a, a questioning platform which will connect all individuals, organizations, including NGOs and 
those NGOs together and also including the governments. Um, so later on, I'll, discuss, I'll um, elaborate on the flow of it. And also another feature is that it promotes basic knowledge of the SDGs and humanitarian assistance because we believe knowing what SDGs are is to give a positive prospect to everyone on Earth and also knowing how an NGO system basically works and their differences, their information, is to support the users of our app to draft proposals in a more feasible way, which I'll later on um, talk about. So how will our app work? So the flow will be people are able to upload their problems. And um, after uploading their problems, uh, other users, maybe in different areas, different regions, can give comments or subscribe to the problem if they are curious about how the problem will later on go on. So if a user subscribes to a problem, then they will receive notifications on any single new comments or new idea. And later on, after um, people can also submit idea to a proposed problem, like um, a solution to the problem. So if they have the idea, it may be rough at first, at, um, at the first time, but other can also give suggestions through comments and also, once again, subscribe to it. And then the uploader of the original idea can keep on revising it. And after received, um, after receiving enough subscription or, um, wait, after passing a designated criteria, it could be the amount of subscription or revise or comments. It could be discussed by the personnel of this app and under the discretion of whether or not to adopt it. And after they adopt it, they would um, send it to designated organizations or governments. And then they can decide, they can then decide whether to adopt, adopt it or not. Um, so by um, uploading problems and giving ideas, um, it could solve a so the problem of low community consciousness because many people aren't even aware of the problems surrounding them. And also students can learn through drafting proposals and giving out suggestions. Um, users can enhance their planning skills since it requires a lot of critical thinking and considering the comprehensiveness of the proposals, the ideas. Yeah, so not, this is not only limited to students, but also to everyone. So the tools we'll be using in our apps, we're gonna use our Android tools. What is the name? Yeah, Android Studio as um, as the main feature of software that we're gonna use, and um, we're gonna combine it with OpenStreetMap, which is similar to like all the app we have on our phone or any technical devices. But um, uh, what's special about it is it is for free for everyone and it's editable for everyone. Like, um, there are many rural areas that are even blank on the, like the Google map or any single app that we have. So um, this app is to let um, everyone, if they visit a remote area or even if they are living in it, they can add um, details on the app, that, which is what um, Chris had done in Cambodia. <coughs> and also um, the basic map, views on the web browsers offered, offered are standard, cycle map, transport map, and humanitarian. So I'm going to emphasize about it, the humanitarian map. So during the 2010 Haiti earthquake, the relief in remote area didn't go well since the map data for the place was blank. So through cooperation between the NGOs and the residents, um, the OpenStreetMap team rapidly construct a detailed map and um, including all the roads, buildings, and facilities, including refugee camps. So that's what this map can, um, can done. So it is not thus smoothing the process of humanitarian aid. This method has been widely used in numerous occasions. So that's, what, that's why I want to emphasize the features of this map. So what do the presidents hoping to achieve? So um, though we are focusing on um, 
the community consciousness and the cooperation between individuals, but um, this is also it involves other other SDGs. So the four is quality education. So drafting your proposals require, requires planning skills and critical thinking, which are skills that are hard to be learned in traditional subjects and courses. So like in 4.7 of the SDGs, it is to ensure that all learners acquire, acquire the knowledge and skills needed to promote sustainable development. So which is what we want to emphasize. And nine is industry innovation and infrastructure. So having an educational app is to promote, um, is to increase the and is to increase the access to information and communication technology, which is why we are having educational feature on the on numerous apps. And for the ten is reduce inequalities. So people in MEDCs might have easier access to high tech and knowledge. So they can use this advantage to help those in LEDCs. And also eleven is sustainable cities and communities. Not only governments, politicians, social workers are responsible for striving for development within their country or even the entire world. It is everyone's duty to put an effort on participating in the process of development. And also the 17th is partnership for the goals, which I mentioned quite a few times, is to tie all the NGOs, governments, and individuals together. And later on is the, what, the expectations. So due to the limited of our ability, we are not linguists, so we believe adding more languages would be possible um, with other help, with help from other entities, and also the completion of OpenStreetMap could be done, since our, since our app is also promoting this other software, and also um, getting more entities involved. Um, to get more entities involved require a lot of promotion, which we couldn't do since we only got four people and we don't even have that much of fun. So this is also included in our expectations. So um, this is basically just an app to integrate our citizens, governments, and NGOs together. So that would be the introduction of our app. And are there any questions? And thank you.